Hi, Yossi Tesona here with another great tip for Avid Media Composer. This time I have a really good one. It's how to generate a whole bunch of titles using the auto titler feature that's built into Marquee. None of us likes typing characters and titles, you know, and spell checking and all of that. So imagine that you get an email from the producer saying, here are all the titles that you need to generate. And you have the template, you have the font, the color, everything. And the list could be like 25 people or something like that. So what I'm about to show you allows you to use the auto titler feature so you don't have to type in a single letter. Now, in order for this to work, you have to convert your text document to plain text. So if you're in text edit, that's under format. If you're on a PC, just use WordPad and make sure that you save it as .txt extension with UTF-16 as the encoding. Once you have that document, you can point to it from Marquee after you build a template and Marquee will generate all the titles for you. Check it out. I'm just going to switch over to Avid and launch Marquee. And now here in Marquee, I'm just going to generate a template for the titles. I'm going to select the text tool. I'll turn on my action safe and title safe grid. And I'll just type in a whole bunch of X's for the character that's being played, Mr. Black, Mr. Pink. I'm just going to change the font and I'll give it a color and maybe a little drop shadow. Now for the name of the actor, I'm going to generate a new line with the letter Y and I'll choose also a different font. I'll give it a different color and add a little drop shadow. Once you have the font, the colors, and the sizes, you can save this as a template. But before you save it, you have to change the layer names. And here's a little bit tricky because on a Mac, currently we cannot rename the text boxes just by simply clicking on them. This should be called text box space one and text box space two. But you try to click here and nothing's going to happen. You try to rename, nothing's going to happen on a Mac. If you're on a PC, you're lucky. You just go ahead and type it. On the Mac, we're going to have to find a workaround. And you can do that by opening up Properties, Info. And up here, you can actually change the name. So this will be text box space one. And then for the second layer, it's text box space two. Once you have the layers named correctly, you can run the auto titler by going to File, Auto Titler, and now you have to point to the text document that has all the titles. I'm going to click Open, and it's going to say starting at title number one. I'm going to click OK. Now check this out. Don't blink. This is going to be super fast, and I'm not going to do any editing on this. Done. All possible titles have been created. You can access them from the window menu. I'm going to click OK and check this out. I go to window and all my titles have been created. Now, all I need to do is send this over to Avid. And I'm going to do that by going to File, Save All to Bin. And now Marquis is sending them back to Avid. I'm going to click OK at one to one resolution. And I'm just going to double check by opening these up. So there it is. All my titles have been created and I didn't have to type a single letter. So that's the auto titler and that's our tip for the day.